Good afternoon, everybody. Matt, I'm Roy back again. Well, I've been down to Virginia Beach this weekend to some of the thrift stores, and for the most part, they have nothing, and they haven't had anything good for the past couple of months. But I was able to pick up one treasure. It's this monitor right here. This is an HP model W2071D. Picked this up at one of the CHKDs in uh, Virginia Beach uh, for $20, which uh, I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, if you look, let me pull this up real quick. If you actually search Google for this monitor, W2071D, you'll actually see it still listed on Best Buy's website. And last week was on sale for uh, $90, but now you can see it's back up to $119. And the reviews on it are pretty good. They got a 4.3 out of 5. Um, I will say this. It is most definitely not the best monitor I've had. Um, it's an LED screen, which I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not that fond of. Um, they seem to be kind of washed out. This is really the only one that I've had that I actually like. This is that LG 22-inch screen. Um, but the picture's not too bad. It's uh, It's got some nice features to it. Uh, it does have a... Th Let me see if I can get the specifications here. Um, it's got a 5 millisecond response time. Uh, let's see what else we got here. It does have DV, uh, uh, DVI-D. Um, it has VJ, but it does not have HDMI, which doesn't really bother me because I don't use it uh, for this particular computer anyway. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go around the monitor here. And all the buttons are underneath there. It's a power button there. You have the, and this is one thing I didn't like either, it's very hard to read. It's your OK button, plus and minus, your me and your menu button. When you click the menu, it gives you the an average uh, display of options. Brightness, contrast, color, image control, on-screen control, management, language, information, the factory reset, the actual source, in other words, VGA to DVI, and of course the exit. Go under management, you have like the power saving options, um, the bezel LED power, you can actually turn that off and exactly sure what that does. I think that actually turns this off here. Let's see if I can get back to it. <laughs> it's not very convenient having the buttons underneath because you really can't read what you're pushing. Yeah, that turns that light on and off. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, it's got a nice set of features to it. We'll go ahead and go to the back and I'll show you what everything looks like back here. You got your standard um, AC power uh, cord. This you can tell if you look in the, at the side. Normally LCD or LED monitors are, very, are about thin like this, maybe a little over an inch. But as you can see it has this part here because it actually has a built-in power supply. If you take a look at this one, you can see that it's really, really thin, and it has just a little tiny jet out in the back, and that's because this actually has a uh, separate power brick. Now looking back here, here's some information on the monitor. You guys can go ahead and pause and re pause this video to read that if you want. Um, it's very new. It was manufactured in April of last year, so probably sold at the end of the year, so I'm, I'm guessing this is about one year old. I believe this was a uh, probably a store display model. I don't can't imagine somebody would just get rid of this in, in when it's not even a year old. Our local thrift stores tend to get a lot of those. Um, when stores like Best Buy or back in the day Circuit City uh, wanted to get rid of their display models and they couldn't sell them, 
they usually just donate them to the thrift stores for a tax write-off. Now your two connections. Right now, again, I'm using the DVI-D digital connection. And, of course, you got your standard VGA. And I'll go ahead and load up one of my videos so you can get an idea of the quality of this monitor. Go ahead and load up that video I did the other day about my dad's 55. Good morning, YouTube. Matt and Roy back. Well, today is the day. This is the video of the 1955 Chevy 210. Uh, this is the third car I've done of, of my dad so far. And this is going to be an in-depth review and a tour of the car. First we'll do a quick walk around. I'll forward through it a little bit. As you can see, it's got decent go video side, quality. Too. Alright, so that is my uh, quick review, again, of the HP W2071D. Please like and comment in my videos, and subscribe if my videos interest you. And look for more uh, computer videos, and hopefully some more elevator videos coming soon. Have a good day, everybody.